So there is a cup of liquid nitrogen and I've got the same setup not attached to the copper rod and we're in a fume hood now so that if the chlorine bursts and we release chlorine gas it'll get pulled away. Also there isn't hardly any in there so it's not a big deal. So now you can slowly put this in. What? Do you like all that? Would you be able to grab it or would it tip over and be? No, nah, it's, it's a long vial. It'll be recoverable. Okay. okay. So there we go. Now let's wait for a few minutes for it to freeze up and then we can pull it out and see um, solid chlorine. What you just saw was me putting a vial of pressurized liquid chlorine and liquid nitrogen in order to freeze it. Specifically, the outer container you saw was a copper tube, inside that was a glass vial, and inside that was a really small fused quartz glass vial holding chlorine under 7.5 atmospheres of pressure, which causes it to be a liquid at room temperature. Then sticking it in a liquid nitrogen cools it down to the point where it solidifies. The point being to film solid chlorine. I did succeed in filming solid chlorine and I also filmed it melting, which was really cool to see. The next thing you're going to see is me pulling that vial out and taking the chlorine out and showing it. Oh, the melt, it's melting, look at that. Solid chlorine is melting. I got that on video. Oof, wow, oh, it finished melting, now it's all liquid. Okay, I got a perfect shot of that. There is no need to do that again. Good, I don't know if you're going to take, get in another cup of Wow. So you have now seen solid chlorine. You saw the frozen CL2, and you also saw it melt which I thought was the coolest thing ever. It's actual chlorine ice. Who gets to see chlorine ice? I found it very fun. I was very happy with that. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Dietrich out.